Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So hi guys, I'm Raging DJ and I'm here to present to you Dito Telecommunity Fundamentals History Timeline and uh, it's important to watch this before investing. So let's go guys. So disclaimer guys, all information came from the official Dito disclosures from PSE Edge as well as their Dito website. I am not affiliated with Dito CME Holdings as well as Dito Telecommunity. So first guys, just an overview. Dito CME Holdings Corp is formerly the ISM Corporation. It was originally a mining company under the name Ito Gonsuyok Mines Incorporated. As ISM, the company was engaged in information technology, multimedia telecom, and other similar industries. On March 6, 2020, the SEC approved the change in corporate name to the present one. Dito currently has no operating business. And on December 10, 2019, the board of Dito approved the acquisition of Odena Communications, Media and Entertainment Holdings Corporation. So Dito Telecom's history can be traced back to the establishment of Miss Latel, which is enacted by the Congress on April 19, 1998 under RA 8627. However, Ms. Latel failed to start this operation following the company's franchise being ipso facto revoked. Furthermore, it is listed as a Philippine holding company led by its chairman, Mr. Dennis A. Uy. And on July 20, 20, uh, 2005, ISM acquired a substantial stake in Eastern Telecommunication Philippines. On January 10, 2010, tw January 2010 ISM and Philweb Corporation equally invested in purchasing 65% stake in Accentic and GmbH. On December 2010, ISM sold a 40% stake in Easter Communication to Vega Telecom of the San Miguel Corporation. In October 2011, ISM completed its divestment in ETPI and shifted its focus on other industries. On December 2011, ISM led a group of investors in completing the acquisition of a 97% controlling stake in the Philippine Bank of Communications. 2016, ISM formally became a holding company and in March 2020, DOCME received the approval of the SEC to change its company name from ISM to Dito CME Holdings Corporation. So in 2018, guys, it was announced that Ms. Sattel was one of the telecommunications firms to join the government-sanctioned bidding in order to challenge the duopoly of PLDT and Globe. Okay? And Ms. Sattel became a joint consortium between the Odena Corporation, its subsidiary Chelsea Logistics, and the Chinese state-owned and parent company of the China Telecom, the China Telecommunications Corporation. Okay, during the process of the bidding, the consortium was finally named as the provisional third major player. And the Senate and the House of Representatives approved the transfer of ownership of Ms. Sattel to the latter's consortium. So on July 8, 2019, Ms. Latel was renamed as Dito Telecommunity. And at the same date of the announcement, uh, it was granted its permit to operate after President Rodrigo Duterte awarded the Certificate of Public conven Convenience and Necessity. And on September 6, 2019, it announced to build its own campus on an 8-hectare lot, lot at Clark Global City, Pampanga. So in October 2019, under the deal with L LCS Group, Dito will lease the shared telco towers that LCS has already built in several areas. While on the other hand, of the deal with Sky Cable, Dito will utilize the latter's unused fiber optic cables in Metro Manila and it is expected to begin its commercial operations by March 2021 with the plan to make its first call by May 2020. So investors loaded up on De Dennis uh, Aoy led Dito to Amy Holdings Corporation after it unveiled a 68.43 billion share swap deal to buy an indirect stake in the telco startup Dito Telco Corporation. Then, uh, uh, based on their latest disclosures, they have this backdoor disclosure. So, the comprehensive corporate disclosure regarding the acquisition of 100% of the shares of Udena Corporation, uh, Media and Entertainment Holdings Corporation, in exchange of the issuance of 11.2 billion common shares of Dito CME in favor of the Udena Corporation. 
So before the share swap, this was the structure of their uh, corporation. Okay, and after the share swap, as you can see, the Dito Talco Corporation uh, is owned 40% by China Talco Corporation and 60% by Dito Holdings Corporation. And under Dito Holdings Corporation, it is it includes 89% under Udena CME and 11% under Chelsea. And now, Udena CME is 100% owned by Dito CME. That is not present before the share swap. Okay? Then, under Udena Corporation, 80% belongs to Dito CME and 70% is Chelsea's Logistic. However, guys, because of the pandemic, according to the Dito officials, the third telco player would likely to miss a July 8 technical lunch. Thus, uh, they said that they would reschedule the technical lunch as well as commercial lunch. This was a statement of their um, attorney, Adel Tamano. Dito is very much ready for the government audit on January 7, 2021 and to launch commercially in March 2021. So as you can see, when you go to their website, this would be the Dito milestones according to them. So they rolled out no, a general image as well as a timeline on what happened since March 2020. So this would be the latest report of Dito, guys, during the Senate hearing in December 2020. So the, the, the first domestic international phone and video call have been made in March 2020. The Dito Core network was in place as early as July 2020. The Dito Core again was placed in July 2020 and there has been 1,532 base stations that was constructed as of October 2020, more than enough to cover the 30% of the population and deliver a minimum speed of 27 Mbps. And as of December 1, 2020, they have constructed around 1,900 towers. And over 11,000 kilometers of cable have been made already in December 2020. The first of a series of 5G technical calls were made in October 2020. Then the friendly, friendly user test is currently underway. And more than 150 billion invested for 2020 and estimated minimum of 50 billion in 2021. With a total minimum investment of 257 billion in five years. Lastly, Dito has hired an average of 49 employees per month during the height of the pandemic, bringing up the current workforce count to more than 600 and still counting. So thank you for listening guys. Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.